Look at this question. We are asked to solve it. The first thing we need to do is to look at this. This and this are the same. And this is plus. It means we can multiply this. We just take one of them, log, to the base of 3. Then we multiply this. S multiplied by x minus 8 equal to 2. Then we move this to indices form. That is, S this equals to 3 raised to the power 2. What it means is, the way I explain it is, 3 has been carrying these guys. So, it need to go to the other side and also carry 2. So, why is going to the other side to carry 2? This logarithm will not follow 3. That's what happened there. So, this is S raised to the power 2 minus 8x equals to 9. You agree with me? This is this minus 8x minus 9 equal to 0. Now, this becomes what? Quadratic equation. The next thing now is, what are the two values? If you multiply them together, you have minus 9. When you have them, you have minus 8. You agree with me? Minus 9 multiplied by 1 will give us minus 9. Minus 9 plus 1 is equal to minus 8. So we can use this and this. Therefore, we are going to have s raised to the power 2 minus 9x plus 1x minus 9 equal to 0. So we are now using this 9 and 1 to replace this. Okay? Now that you have done that, all we need to do now is to group these guys. You group this and this, you group this and this. Okay? So we bring s out from here. What is remaining? When you bring s out, remains s. 9 now, you repeat it, you repeat this, what can you multiply this to get this? That is 1, that is plus 1, equal to 0. So that is this and this will come together, s plus 1, then you take one of this, s minus 9, equal to 0. That is s plus 1 now, equals to 0, or s minus 9, equal to 0. s is equal to minus 1, or s equals to 9. Okay? We have two answers, minus 1 and 9. But it's only this one that is given to us. We just select that. That is D. Okay? Because it's one of the answers.